I'm making the New York strip steak simply grilled just a few minutes and then I'm gonna have a great mushroom cream sauce with some green beans just slightly sauteed with some fresh tomatoes and roasted garlic mashed potatoes all right back here I have the we're gonna keep going on our potatoes I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in the pan and get our green beans going because they'll be done fairly quickly okay I'm gonna drop the garlic in there so it can get warm then we'll turn our attention to our potatoes our two pounds of potatoes now what I'm using in the potatoes to get them smashed is chicken broth you could use milk you can use heavy cream but I opted not to use the heavy cream today because I have the heavy cream going in the mushroom sauce and it's kind of a heavy meal so let's start with about a cup of the chicken broth just to get our mashed potatoes going we can put in our butter and salt and pepper this is where everything at this point will go to your taste if you don't want you know maybe two or three tablespoons of butter leave it down leave it out or cut it out that's totally up to you but it adds so much flavor so put a little bit <laughs> okay smash these up now this is potato potato mash okay it doesn't necessarily have to be whipped we'll save that for another recipe because I do some bomb whipped potatoes too you salt and pepper them up and I left some of the skins on because I just like the way the, the skin on the red potatoes tastes. It tastes really good. Some salt in them. Oh, that's enough. Okay, what I'm going to do is put these back on the stove and let them stay warm until we're ready for them. I'm hot. All right, now I'm going to put the green beans down. These green beans are frozen. If I can't find fresh, this is my next go-to, is the frozen green beans. When you buy frozen vegetables, they're frozen at their peak. So they're the best if you can't find the fresh at that point in time. So I'm going to use these tongs to toss these around about your medium-high heat. And while that's happening, we're going to take our, take our steaks out. And then let those rest so we can cut into them in a minute. All right, I'm gonna let those sit there a minute while I take the steaks out. You have to take them out of the pan so they can rest because if you leave them in there, they'll just continue to cook. So I'm gonna take them out. And let them rest you want your steaks to rest because right now the juices are right at the top okay and what happens is when the meat is just coming off the heat you want to let it rest and let the juices redistribute throughout the meat okay so you when you cut into them they're still juicy and you still have a moist piece of meat it's not all dried out so we put the garlic in so the garlic you can squeeze it out or you can coax it out. Okay. For this amount of potatoes, which is about two pounds, I'm going to use about a half a head. Okay. Because that garlic flavor, even though the garlic gets milder, a little bit sweeter, there's still garlic in it. Just make sure if this is a date meal that both you and your date eat the garlic mash it in there and you'll have that garlic see see how you have the garlic in there I'm just gonna mash that in there to get that all through the mashed potatoes here are the great tomatoes I was telling you about that we're just gonna throw in at the last minute all I did was cut them in half and I'm gonna put them in the green beans just so they can just be warmed over a little bit and then we'll check the whole pot for um re-season okay check the whole pan to make sure let me see 
Put some more salt and pepper. Just a simple little side dish like this can go a long way. Just warm the tomatoes over. You don't have to leave this dish on the stove for them to cook too, because that's not what you want. You still want them to look fresh. Okay. That is it. Let's try it. Over here. Steak is still juicy. Mmm. It's good. The mushrooms, we didn't cook them too long. They still have a bite. A bite to them and they're fresh. A little bit of a crunch, but just tender enough to go with the steak. Make sure you try this New York strip steak and these wonderful garlic mashed potatoes. And I'll see you next time on Cooking at Home with Carolyn.